Behind the dazzling smile and iconic roles lies a man shrouded in mystery. John Travolta, the perfect Hollywood star, has captivated audiences worldwide with his electrifying performances. Amidst the whirlwind romances and glamorous lifestyle, a secret love story has remained hidden in the shadows. Now, for the first time, the veil is lifted. This video delves deep into the life of the beloved actor, uncovering the untold chapters of his personal journey. Join us as we explore the twists and turns that have shaped Travolta's remarkable life and discover the identity of the woman who truly captured his heart. John Travolta, the youngest of six children, was born on February 18, 1954, and raised in the suburban town of Englewood, New Jersey, just outside of bustling New York City. It was within this environment that the foundations of his future stardom were laid. His father, Salvatore Sam Travolta, originally pursued a career in sports as a semi-professional football player. However, life took a different turn and he transitioned into the world of business, eventually co-owning a tire company. This career shift provided a stable and comfortable upbringing for the Travolta family. On the other hand, John's mother, Helen Cecilia Burke, possessed a vibrant artistic spirit. Before becoming a dedicated high school drama and English teacher, she had made a name for herself as an accomplished actress and singer even being a part of the popular radio vocal group, the Sunshine Sisters. Her passion for the performing arts was infectious, and she instilled a deep love for drama and creativity in her children. It's no surprise then that all six Travolta siblings, including John, were drawn to the world of acting. With a mother who was a seasoned performer and a teacher who inspired countless young minds, their household was a breeding ground for talent. This familial environment undoubtedly nurtured John's early interest in the stage, setting the trajectory for his remarkable career. The Travolta home was always buzzing with conversations about acting, performances, and the exciting world of entertainment, thanks to their mother's influence. With an Italian dad from Gudrano, Sicily, and an Irish mom from an Irish-American neighborhood, John was a unique mix of cultures, while his heritage was half Italian and half Irish, he grew up feeling more connected to his Irish roots. This blend of backgrounds gave John a rich and diverse perspective. Raised Catholic, he attended Dwight Morrow High School, but his burning passion for acting couldn't be ignored. At just 17, he made the bold decision to drop out and chase his Hollywood dream. But as John's journey unto the world of acting began to take off, Another significant transformation was on the horizon, one that would not only shape his personal life, but also deeply influence his path in Hollywood. Raised Catholic, he made a big change at 21 when he converted to a new religion in 1975. Searching for deeper meaning, he found a strong community and support system in Scientology. His early risk of dropping out of high school to pursue acting paid off huge. Roles in movies like Saturday Night Fever and Grease turned him into a massive Hollywood star. Even with life's ups and downs, his early experiences and family roots stayed important to who he was and his success. Acting was in John Travolta's blood, thanks to his mom, Helen, an actress, singer, and drama teacher. Growing up backstage, he was inspired to follow in her footsteps. He learned to act, dance, and sing at theater school in New York. They even starred together in productions of Grease and Saturday Night Fever, showing off their amazing talents. John's big break came when he moved to New York City and landed a role in the musical Grease. This was his first taste of professional acting. Next, he starred in the Broadway show Over Here, which helped him become a better actor. Feeling confident, he moved to Los Angeles, the heart of the entertainment industry, and the rest is history. John Travolta's life extends far beyond the silver screen. A passionate aviator, he holds a formal pilot's license and owns an impressive fleet of aircraft, including a personal Boeing 707. This love of flying is a key part of his life, offering him both joy and purpose. He's used his aviation skills for humanitarian missions, delivering aid to disaster-stricken regions around the world, showcasing his compassionate side. 
To accommodate his aviation lifestyle, Travolta built a home in the exclusive Lair Aviation Estates, a community designed for aviation enthusiasts. The property boasts a private runway leading directly to his front door, allowing him unparalleled convenience and freedom to explore the world on his own terms. This unique blend of acting talent and aviation passion has contributed significantly to his substantial net worth, estimated at a staggering $250 million. His iconic roles in blockbusters like Saturday Night Fever, Grease, and Hairspray have solidified his status as a global superstar, generating immense wealth through ticket sales, merchandise, and ongoing royalties. John's substantial wealth affords him a luxurious lifestyle, including an impressive portfolio of homes and aircraft. His financial success enables him to indulge his passion for travel, taking his family on extravagant vacations to exotic destinations around the globe. Beyond his financial prowess, Travolta is a highly skilled and experienced aviator. Despite his expertise, he has confronted dangerous situations in the air. One such incident occurred in late November 1992, when his Gulfstream jet encountered a catastrophic engine failure while navigating through dense airspace. Exercising exceptional skill and composure, Travolta, with the assistance of his co-pilot, managed to safely land the aircraft at Washington, D.C. airport. The situation was further compounded by a complete communication breakdown within the jet, rendering them unable to communicate with air traffic control. The severity of the engine malfunction and the inability to establish contact heightened concerns among air traffic controllers, prompting them to temporarily halt operations in the vicinity to ensure the safety of other aircraft. To guide Travolta and his co-pilot to a safe landing, air traffic control orchestrated a plan involving another aircraft, a fully occupied Boeing 727, to escort them to the runway. Unknowingly, Travolta narrowly averted a potentially catastrophic mid-air collision due to the complete failure of his radio communication system. Through sheer skill, determination, and a stroke of luck, both planes landed safely without any casualties. Like most megastars, the Travoltas live in incredible homes. They own four amazing houses spread across the U.S., each one super fancy with breathtaking views. Their biggest and craziest house is in Ocala, Florida. It's not just huge and luxurious, but it's also designed perfectly for John's love of flying. It's like a house and a private airport in one, with two runways leading right up to their front door. This special place is part of a neighborhood where everyone has their own runway. The Travoltas picked it because they wanted to be able to jump in their jets any time. John says he designed the house with flying in mind so they can travel the world whenever they want. In addition to their expensive Florida estate, the Travolta family owns three other luxurious properties, each offering a unique escape. Their main residence is a serene retreat, nestled amidst the state's natural beauty, providing a tranquil counterpoint to their fast-paced lives. The California property, on the other hand, embodies the beauty and excitement of Hollywood, offering a stylish and convenient base for the entertainment industry. For a taste of paradise, the Travolta's Hawaiian home offers breathtaking ocean views and the laid-back lifestyle of the islands, serving as a perfect escape from the demands of their careers. These stunning properties are a testament to John Travolta's extraordinary success in the film industry. Over the years, he has built an impressive career, starring in numerous box office hits that have grossed hundreds of millions of dollars. His talent, charisma, and versatility have made him a beloved global star, and his contributions to the film industry are undeniable. An astonishing 10 of his films have achieved the coveted $100 million box office milestone, while an additional eight have surpassed the even more impressive $200 million mark. With such contributions to the industry, it's no surprise that John is a huge star who people love to watch. He's been nominated for lots of awards, but sadly, no Oscars yet. But he's still a major player in Hollywood, and his movies are amazing. Everyone knows him from Saturday Night Fever, where he showed off his dance moves and got his first Oscar nod. 
Greece is another classic, and his role as Danny Zuko is unforgettable. He's also funny in movies like Look Who's Talking, Wild Hogs, and Hairspray. And he even did a voice in the animated movie Bolt. But his big comeback was in Pulp Fiction, where he showed he could do drama too and got another Oscar nomination. Phenomenon was also a great movie, where he gave a really touching performance. John Travolta and Kelly Preston's love story is a captivating chapter in his life. They met on the set of The Experts in 1987, sparking a connection despite Kelly being married at the time. Their paths crossed again in Vancouver in 1990, where they rekindled their romance. After navigating a challenging divorce for Kelly, they became engaged in New York City. Opting for a more intimate celebration, they eloped to the romantic city of Paris in 1991, exchanging vows and embarking on their life together. Another significant relationship in Travolta's life was with Diana Highland. Their connection was deep despite their age difference, and they shared a genuine bond. Meeting on the set of The Boy in the Plastic Bubble, where they portrayed mother and son, their love story was tragically cut short. Diana succumbed to breast cancer at the age of 41, passing away in Travolta's arms. Their performances in the film were critically acclaimed, with Diana, after passing, receiving an Emmy Award, which Travolta accepted on her behalf. Kelly Preston's romantic journey, on the other hand, was marked by several notable relationships. Before her union with John Travolta, her first marriage was to actor Kevin Gage, which ended in divorce. Following this, she embarked on a high-profile relationship with George Clooney in the late 1980s, a union that captured significant media attention. Their romantic involvement was further solidified when Clooney gifted Preston a pet pig named Max as a token of their affection. This unique gesture became a symbol of their relationship, even after their eventual separation. Preston's romantic history also includes a brief engagement to actor Charlie Sheen. However, this relationship ended under chaotic circumstances. The couple's engagement was abruptly terminated following an accidental weapon discharge that resulted in shrapnel lodged in Preston's body. The path to marriage for Travolta and Preston was not without its complexities. Their initial elopement in Paris, while romantic, lacked legal standing. This necessitated a subsequent officially recognized ceremony held on Daytona Beach, Florida. As with any high-profile couple, the couple faced intense public scrutiny, with their personal lives becoming fodder for endless speculation, rumors, and critical commentary. John and Kelly Travolta have always been in the public eye, often sharing glimpses into their personal lives. One such instance was their candid discussion about a memorable weekend spent at Demi Moore and Bruce Willis's home in 1996. It was during this particular weekend that they believed they had conceived their son, Jet. Tragically, their joy turned to sorrow when they learned of Jet's passing a few years later. The couple has been remarkably open about the challenges they faced as a family, acknowledging the importance of seeking support, including counseling, to navigate through difficult times. A surprising turn of events came when Kelly Preston, at the age of 48, discovered she was pregnant with their third child. The unexpected news brought immense joy to the couple, and they eagerly shared the happy tidings with their family and the world. The decision to publicly announce the pregnancy was a testament to their excitement and inability to keep such wonderful news a secret. John and Kelly were overjoyed when their son Benjamin was born in 2011. Having lost Jet a few years earlier, Benjamin brought a new light into their lives. They said in an interview that he gave them hope and happiness. John especially loved holding Benjamin and found comfort in his little baby smile. John and Kelly have been married for 25 years and they've shared their secrets to a happy marriage. They say it's all about love, care, and protecting each other from negativity. They also try new things together to keep things exciting. Kelly says spending quality time together and working as a team is important, especially for raising their kids. They all know that John is really easygoing, 
especially with their youngest son, Ben. While Kelly is stricter and says no to things like midnight ice cream. But if Ben asks John a few minutes later, John might say yes, they have a fun family. Unlike other famous parents, John and Kelly support their daughter Ella's dream of being an actress. John is really proud of her and thinks she's amazing. John Travolta has had his share of rumors and scandals. In 2013, a former pilot named Douglas GBA claimed they had a secret relationship for six years. GBA said this happened while working for the Travolta family's plane business. But the Travolta family said it was all lies, and there's no proof to back up the pilot's story. In 2012, John Travolta had some legal trouble. A masseuse accused him of touching her without permission and a lawyer named Gloria Allred represented two other men who said they saw Travolta behave badly in hotels. Travolta's lawyers proved these claims were false and the cases were dropped. Even before that, in 2009, a ship employee said Travolta was rude to him on a Royal Caribbean cruise, but that didn't go anywhere either. Travolta said those claims were ridiculous and just for attention. That same year, things got even worse for Travolta when he was faced with another accusation, but this time from his former Grease co-star, Jeff Conaway. Conaway's ex-fiance claimed that Travolta had made inappropriate advances towards Conaway in the 1990s. Travolta's team strongly denied these claims, calling them a made-up story to sell newspapers. John and Kelly have had to deal with a lot of tough things. The worst was losing their son, Jet, in 2009. He was only 16 and had a seizure while they were on vacation in the Bahamas. It was a terrible shock for the whole family, especially his sister, Ella. Travolta's lawyer said it was the hardest thing to go through. They later found out that Jet had autism and other problems that caused seizures. Unfortunately, some bad people tried to get money from them and shared private information about Jet. Travolta wanted people to know how much Jet suffered. The loss of their son, Jet, was a profound tragedy for the Travolta family. The unexpected and heartbreaking event tested the strength of their bond. Surrounded by the love and support of family and friends, they found solace and strength to navigate through the immense grief. John and Kelly showed resilience in the face of adversity, their love for each other providing a steady anchor during these difficult times. The couple often spoke publicly about the challenges they faced, offering a glimpse into their journey of healing. They acknowledged that life would never be the same without Jet, but they chose to move forward with hope and determination. Their unwavering support for each other became a beacon of inspiration for many. Tragedy struck again when Kelly was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2018. The family chose to keep her battle private, focusing on providing her with love and care. After a courageous two-year fight, Kelly passed away, leaving an immeasurable void in their lives. John publicly mourned her loss, sharing heartfelt tributes to his beloved wife. The world witnessed his deep sorrow as he navigated the complexities of grief and loss. Amid their personal struggles, the Travoltas found comfort in the enduring bonds of friendship. The loss of Olivia Newton-John, a close friend who also battled cancer, was another heartbreaking chapter. John's public tribute to her reflected the profound impact she had on his life and the lives of many. Tragedy struck again in December 2022 with the passing of his close friend, Kirstie Alley. They had a special bond and worked together on the iconic movie, Look Who's Talking. Kirstie's death was a huge loss for John. Adding to their sorrow, the Travolta family experienced another tragedy when their beloved dogs were killed by an airport car. It was a terrible accident, and the airport apologized with flowers and a heartfelt message. This was just one more painful event in a difficult time for the family. Despite facing tough times, the Travolta family is still enjoying life together. Last summer, they had an amazing trip to Japan and shared pictures of all the fun they had. They visited famous places like the ancient temples in Kyoto and the busy streets of Tokyo. They even tried delicious Japanese food like sushi, ramen, and tempura. It was a great way to make new memories and show the world how strong their family is. They've been through a lot, but they're still going strong and enjoying life together.
Fast forward to 2024, and John Travolta is back in the headlines, but this time it's all about his love life. Since his wife, Kelly Preston, sadly passed away in 2020, people have wondered if he'd ever open up to love again. Well, it seems like there could be a new chapter for him. He's been filming a heist movie called Cash Out with Kristen Davis, and get this, there's a buzz about a potential spark between them. Insiders close to the production are spilling the tea, saying it's obvious there's a spark between the two. They're constantly gushing about each other, and it's clear they've developed a strong bond. So, could this be the start of something new for John? Only time will tell, but it's definitely exciting to see him potentially moving on and finding happiness again. Who knows? Maybe this on-screen romance could turn into a real-life love story.